Hey guys, Adam here at Speed Science. Hey, I had a few comments on the last video asking about how the brake line lock setup works. And we've also got a brake proportioning valve on the Integra. So I'll just take you through a quick look on how we've got that all set up and what it does and how it works. So we've got a, a factory uh, one inch, uh, the original type R booster and master cylinder. Um, the rear just goes straight to the rears. The rears we've got 100% uh, braking or I guess a full 50% braking and um, we don't have any prop valve on the rear and obviously the the rear has about 700 kilos which is about 1500 pounds um, on the rear and obviously the rear brakes um, the NSX which is bigger than, than a factory type R but obviously we need kind of need all of that braking so we actually have the bias valve or the prop valve on the front so this is the outlet for the front and first it goes into the line lock valve so a line lock valve, um, kind of as its namesake, allows us to lock on um, the brakes that we want to. So what I do is I put my foot on the brake pedal, press a button on the cabin, it activates a solenoid and the solenoid holds pressure. So as soon as I release the brake pedal, um, as per usual, the pressure comes off on the rears, but the solenoid is holding the pressure on the front, so it means I can you know, put it in first, put it in second, drop the clutch and do a skid, and I'm not having to uh, push through or power through the rear brakes um, to get it to stay still, as you would normally if you're just holding onto the brake pedal and then just mashing the go pedal um, and, yeah, just getting it to spin through the rear brakes. So that's how that works. Um, and then we've got a brake bias valve, which allows us just to dial um, more or less brakes in on the front um, as needed. We've got some... Wilwood super lights with 320mm two-piece rotors on the front, which do a super good job of stopping. And we're using the Hawk um, black brake pads, which just take a couple stops to get going, but then they work um, super well on the street. And we've had it on the track a couple of times and haven't been able to find their limit yet with what we've been doing, which um, is just having a bit of fun, nothing crazy, but still stopping it pretty hard. And the car is kind of heavy. Um, I'll just quickly show you how we've got the the switch set up on the for the line lock valve. It's a little bit kind of agricultural, as we'd say, but this is what comes with the kit. It's a B&M solenoid, so if I'm drag racing, I basically just spin that around. I'll get a better angle here, and just push the switch. And then when I'm finished doing the burnout, I release the switch, and basically that releases the front brakes, and then the car will just you know, move forward under power as, as the traction um, increases. Um, and that's kind of the end of the burnout period. So, yeah, hopefully that answers the questions or gives enough information if you want to know anything more about how we've done that. Um, it is kind of a rear-wheel drive thing. You don't need a line lock valve on a front-wheel drive car or I can't think of a real good application. Um, that's what the, the staging brake's for, and that does a, a great job and is nice and easy to set up. Hey, it's um, the 1st of January here in New Zealand, so Happy New Year. Some of you watching this will um, just be getting ready to start your festivities over in uh, America and other parts of the world that haven't uh, come into 2020, so we beat you to it. And um, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video where we're going to... Um, go through all the parts with the turbo kit that I purchased that arrived just before Christmas, which you saw in the first video. And we'll just have a look and see uh, what's arrived. Cheers, have a good one.